So today we're going to be talking about a dark, brutish character made back in the 90s in the MTV era. We are talking about none other than The Max. Now, The Max is a comic book and animated series that is written and illustrated by Sam Keith and published by Image Comics. The first issue was actually published in March 1993. The series actually follows the story of the Max, who is, for all intents and purposes, a homeless man who believes he is a superhero. So it is a mental issue. The Max shifts between the real world and the dream world, which he actually refers to as, quote, the outback, which is pretty much as real to him as the real world is. The only friend he has is Julie Winters, she is a freelance social worker. Now, in the plot of the story, Julie stops her car to help a man in the street. She is beaten and left to die. To cope with it, she hides in what is referred to by the Max as to be her outback. And the outback is just a primeval landscape that is entirely suited to Julie's subconscious brain. In this world, she has control. Now, in the Outback, she becomes the, quote, Leopard Queen, an all-powerful goddess. And just like the Max, she spends so much time in the Outback that the real world and the Outback gradually become unstable. Later, she accidentally hits a homeless man with her car. Now, remembering what happened the last time she stopped to help someone, she actually covers the unconscious body with trash. But in doing so, she unintentionally opened a link to the outback. After Julie leaves, a lampshade in the trash expands over the man's body, becoming a mask that consumes him and links him to Julie. Now, because of this, the homeless man does not remember anything about himself, only that Julie is important to him somehow. He doesn't even know his own name. At that point, he is just calling himself the Max. Nor does he really know what he looks like under his mask. Now, the villain of the story, Mr. Gone, a serial killer with a telepathic link to Julie and extensive knowledge of and access to people's various outbacks. Now, eventually, Mr. Gone takes Julie to see the truth about her past and eventually reveals to her how the Max came to be. An ironic twist, however, is revealed by Mr. Gon to a bit character who is then killed. The fact that Gon had first met Julie when she was a child, she actually knows him as Uncle Artie. Now, one of the dominant concepts of the Max is that all human beings have a spirit animal, which is then linked to the person during a pivotal moment in their lifetime. What's important to remember is that Julie is then linked to a spirit animal of a rabbit. And this is worth noting because Max, who is linked to Julie and her spirit animal, worries that if he removes his mask, he will actually find the head of a rabbit beneath it. Now, as far as powers and abilities go, the Max is a two-sided coin. On one side, he is a homeless man who is just susceptible to injury and any kind of imperfection a human body would have. On the other, the Max is super strong, highly durable, has two large bone protrusions out of his hands, almost Wolverine-like, and is sensitive to what goes on in the outback itself. However, he does have a weakness. Sometimes he is not capable of knowing what is in the real world and what is in the false reality, which causes many onlookers to wonder about his sanity. We think this is a really neat character and really shines a light on mental illnesses, and we think that MTV really did hit back in the 90s with this show. Hopefully, in the near future, whoever has the copyrights to this character creates a new world for all of us to watch. Please like, share, and subscribe. We really do appreciate that. Also, comment down below. Let us know what you think of this video. And also, maybe discuss what video you would like to see on our channel. As always, Excelsior.